two incredible days of my Flip the Switch boot camp. Right here at the lodge in uh, Tennessee. <clears throat> People just left just a few minutes ago, so we've been going for two straight days on how to activate your prey drive and perform at a very high frequency, and which is a new book that I have coming out. I just signed a, a deal with McGraw-Hill on, and we'll talk about that tonight because I'm sure some of you are interested in how do you write books, how do you get started, how do you share a message with the world. That's why you're here, right, is we're talking about revelations and resolutions. And so I'm really, really excited about working with you tonight and coaching you on this concept and how to take your ball and move it down the field. About 50% of the people that I coach have a desire <clears throat> to speak, coach, train, lead, write books. Okay, so if you're here tonight, you're in the right place, folks. You are in the right place because we're going to talk about how to take a big revelation and turn it into a resolution, okay? And I'm going to talk about why you need to write the book and what the book can do for you and the monetization of a book. And then Gabrielle Garrett, who handles our publishing division, is going to come in and talk about the mechanics of getting started on the book and ultimately how we can help you, uh, how we can help you with the book, get that puppy up and started. So I'm letting some folks get on, Gabby, if you want to turn your camera on, there you are. How you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. You're looking nice. All dressed up in your scarf. Thanks. Did my hair and everything. <laughs> <laughs> I did my hair too. <laughs> right? what's, that, what's that old country music song? I can't believe I put my, I can't believe I shaved my legs for this or whatever it is. Yes. <laughs> well, I can't believe I cut my hair for this, folks. It's going to be worth it. It is going to be worth it. So, Gabby, I'm letting some folks get on. We had about 129 people register for tonight's uh, webinar. And <clears throat> I have a very simple philosophy, as you know. I believe, um, I believe everybody needs a book in life, right? I believe everybody needs a coach in life, and I believe everybody needs a book in life. And I want to talk a little bit about my process on, on why, why I believe that. When I was 18 years old, I was a young basketball coach and I had, I went to this coaching clinic and at the coaching clinic was with a guy named Don Meyer. Don Meyer was this great NAI coach that nobody knew. And he won more games than John Wooden. And he would do these free coaching clinics. And there would be five or 600 coaches, high school coaches, middle school coaches. And he would, he would do that for, for three days. And I go to this and Don Meyer was like the guy, right? Like he was my mentor. He was my, he was my guy. And he said, if you don't read another book this year, pick up a copy of the seven habits of highly effective people. And while you're at it, pick up a copy of first things first by Stephen Covey. I leave that boot, I leave that retreat, I leave that boot camp or that coaching clinic, and I go straight to the bookstore and I bought the seven habits of highly effective people and I bought first things first. I was 18 years old, and that book changed my life. Those seven habits changed my life. I became enamored with personal development and growth and those habits, and I made up my mind that when I become a head coach, I'm going to teach my players these seven habits. And what I was really learning that I learned that I know now at 44 was, was I was watching how Covey packaged concepts. He had these dimensions, these multiple dimensions and the whole person theory and the seven habits. And <clears throat> that was coaching me and how later I would write books and package concepts. So I want you to think of it as that book changed my life and it, it caused a desire in me to want to help other people change their life through books. So how many of you, I would love for people on here, Gabby, to tell us in the chat um, what, what book changed their life. I think we uh, all have a, the, a, like our first self-help book that shapes the way we see professional development. The first self-help book I read, I was a junior in high school and I was carrying it around with me and it was called Life is Short, Wear Your Party Pants. And it was just like a series of principles about how like, you know, at one point we only use nice china for some things. And while you don't want to use it every day because it dilutes the celebration that you shouldn't wait in life. 
to use those things. So like, I mean, you know, my, my whole thing is kind of a party now, but I think whatever you read first impacted you so much that whatever message you're keeping to yourself has, does it have the ability to affect people in the same way you were affected? So as people, as people are posting on here, I'm going to share this on Facebook. <clears throat> when I wrote that book, uh, when I read that book, seven habits of highly effective people, man, it flipped a switch in me. It activated a prey drive in me. It said, one of these days when I grow up, I want to do what that dude is doing. I want to impact people like that person is impacting people. I want to become the modern day Covey. Like that was what did it for me, guys. And so at so I'll go down this path of becoming a high school basketball coach. I'm teaching my players the seven habits. So remember when you're writing a book, if it's a nonfiction book, which is a lot about what we help people do is bring their book to the market through our publishing division is you are sharing a methodology. You are, you are, you have baked the cake and now you are sharing the recipe and the recipe is helping other people. So if you look at any of the, the 16 books that I've written, they're how to books, how to become a person of interest, how to, how to build a million dollar follow-up, right? They're how to books. And so for you, I want you thinking tonight, there's a cycle that I, I talk about a lot you got to go through. And I want you taking notes when I talk about this cycle. First, you have to have a big revelation. Okay. And I'm typing this in right now. Revelations. Yeah, I got it. Re resolutions. Live with coaching Gabby. I call her Gabrielle because it sounds so professional. And Gabri Gabrielle is the angel of communication. That's right. I'm going to share this over to Facebook here. Now, so if you want to do something big, I want you to think of your book like this. First, you're going to have a big revelation. Okay. The big revelation for me at 18 years old was I want to use these seven habits to teach my players. Okay. I'm going to use these seven habits to teach my players. So the first big revelation I had, it's like, boom. Now I have a model. Now I have a framework. And Covey taught the whole person theory. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. So, so I'm like, this is it. If we're going to talk about potential, potential being an idea of kinetic energy that's stored until utilized, we got to talk about the whole person. You got to go pro in the body and the mind and the heart and the spirit. And that became a model for me. So to write this book, first, you've had some big revelation. Revelation is some sudden dramatic moment in life aha boom six years old my little league baseball coach said son one of these days you're going to be a great coach i watched how coaches tended other people's kids why do you think many years later i came back and wrote the book everybody needs a coach in life because it's at the core i had a revelation because of the revelation i now have a conviction and the conviction is i have to write this book i cannot not write this book Okay. I have to do this. It's my duty. It's my obligation. I got to help people like this book I'm writing on prey drive right now. I got to write it, man. It both motivates me and fascinates me how to activate the prey drive in people. I got to write it. There's too many people's dreams that are dormant. There's too many people in a complacent nation. It was a book that changed my wife's life. This ain't no practice life that I wrote. She had never read a personal growth book until she came to my workshop at 30 years old and bought my book, This Ain't No Practice Life, okay? She came to the workshop and landed a husband. What about that? You always yeah. say that she only paid 50 bucks. She, she only paid 50 bucks for me, folks. <laughs> so, so first you have a big revelation, then you have a, because of the revelation, you have a conviction. I gotta write this book. Some of you guys, I can tell you right now, I can look and see who's on here. How many years have you wanted to write a book? Jamie Davis, how many years, Don? Doug Peacock's already got a book. How do we make the book famous? John Art Owens, right? How many years have you wanted to do this, man? Right? How many years have you told yourself that, that you want to do it? How many years have you said, man, I got something valuable to say? How many years have you said, I, 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 know, I know my message can help other people? 10 some years. Y'all, That's I said that's great. Let's take it out of the oven. Think of all the people that have been suffering without you. Yeah. See, you see, it's, it's selfish not to write the book. Yep. Because that book's going to help other people. I was coaching a dude last night. He's like, well, I don't want to really be famous. I want to fly under the radar. I don't want to be known. I was like, man, it's selfish. If you got something valuable, 
you, you owe it to those people to write that book. You owe it to those people to change their life. You owe it to people to have the conviction to do it. That's what you got to do, man. It's not about you. It's about them. So, so when you think about it, I've had a revelation because of my revelation. I now have a conviction because of my conviction. I'm now going to take action. So I started coaching at 15 at 25 years old. I have this big revelation that, man, I want to write a book and I'm going to help other coaches. All right. So I want you to think right now you're out there. And here's the three questions I would ask you. Do you believe your experiences would help other people? Do you believe you have a song to sing and people to sing that song too? Do you believe if life's worth living, it's worth writing down? I don't care if anybody but your kids read it. Okay. Hal Urban wrote life's 20 greatest lessons for his kids. He was a high school teacher. He sold a million copies of that book out of his garage. He wrote it for his kids, self-published it. Right. And then ended up making millions of dollars out of his garage because he wrote the book. So at 25 years old, I have a revelation. I got to write a book. I've been coaching for 10 years. I want to help other coaches. Here's the funny thing, folks. You can't sell an asset till you have an asset, right? You don't need more money. You need more people. So I write the book, Changing Lives Through Coaching, a little bitty book this big, wasn't even that good. And I have no idea what I'm doing, but here's what happens. And this is where the monetization takes place of the book. Because I have the book, people start asking me to speak. Hey, come over and speak to my team. Hey, come over and talk about that book. Hey, come over. The book, listen to the cycle. The book forces you to have a message. The message helps you get clarity on what you believe. The message gets you in front of people. Doesn't matter if it's rotary clubs, exchange clubs, women's clubs, men's clubs, church clubs. When you get in front of people, the people go, hey, I like you. I'd like for you to coach our people. Right? You don't need more money. You need more people. So the book forces you to have a message. The message forces you to get clear on your beliefs. The beliefs force you to take your message to the world. The, the book gets you in front of people. The people hire you and want to do more things with you because you are a person of interest to them. You're an authority figure. You, right? You're an authority. You're an author, an authority figure. And that's why you have to write the book, folks because it positions you as a person of interest. So I write the first book and many of you heard the story, but I get asked to speak at Dell computers. I spoke for an hour at Dell computers on my little book. Guess what? The people I wrote the book for didn't even buy the book. I wrote it for coaches, Gabby, but coaches wouldn't buy it because they're stubborn and hard headed. They think they know everything. And so I write this book for coaches and other coaches wouldn't, wouldn't buy it. Craziest thing in the world. I'm like, I mean, I can't even give this thing away. But a manager at Dell Computers got a hold of my book and asked me to come speak to their small business division. And they paid me more in an hour to speak than I was making in a month. And I have another revelation, right? It's like, dang, this is why, this is why I wrote that book because the book gets me in front of people. So one book turns into two, two turns into three, three turns in now to 16. And now, you know, multiple deals. And, and I've even taken books and turned them into TV shows. I've taken books and turned them into coaching programs. I've taken books like the new Prey Drive book. I've done boot camps on it, virtual boot camps. I've, I've done, right? I've done uh, uh, podcast webinars. Like, like the, where I come into this equation with you is I'm going to help you make money with your book. I mean, Gabby, like Gabby is going to help you write the book. I'm going to help you monetize the book. What we're doing is coaching you in how to do this. So the revelation becomes the resolution. Okay. The revelation becomes the resolution. It's like, I'm, I'm doing this, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take action on this. Okay. Thank you, Chris. I'm in too. Okay, so I can show you, now let me just give you some examples and then Gabby's going to come in and talk a little bit about the mechanics. I want to give you some examples of how we monetize a message, monetize the book. I want you to understand the difference between an ROI, return on investment, and an ROO, return on objective. The objective is to become an authority. The objective is to become known. The objective is to become a person of interest. 
The objective is to become the expert in the space. The objective is to have a message, have a song to sing. That's the objective. If we drive the objective, it will drive the investment. Okay. So I'm talking to a guy last night. It's like, I want to write a book. I want to do this. And, and the first thing out of his mouth is how do I get my money back out of the book? Like how do I, what's my return on my investment? And I said, well, great question. What is the objective of the book? Because I've written books, small books, my last book called Legacy Selling, my publishing division did it. And uh, we made $100,000 in 90 days with that book. But that's pocket change compared to the 3,000 leads that that book helped me generate in 90 days. So we ran a campaign, we ran Facebook ads, we gave away the book for free, people paid $9.99. 3,000 people went to the page. They gave me their name and phone numbers. We made $100,000 with it. And then we sold people into our coaching program. So you tell me, what, what, what was the book worth? What's it worth to have 3,000 leads from the book, right? So that, to me, it's very valuable. That's monetization of a book and a message, folks. The book Pray Drive is going to get me on stages all over the world, being the foremost authority on that. My book, Everybody Needs a Coach in Life, the CEO of a health, uh, of a wellness center in Houston, Texas, walked into a Barnes and Nobles and saw my book, Everybody Needs a Coach in Life, picked it up, said, we got to get this guy here, took it back to the CEO, Dr. Stephen Hotze, one of my good friends. They brought me to Texas the very next week. I signed a $250,000 coaching contract on the spot because they picked my book up at the bookstore. That's monetization of a concept. I go in and coach his people. He introduces me to all the successful people in Houston. We make another two or $300,000 or maybe $400,000 by the other successful people that I met through. And where did it all start? With the book. So my job in your life is to show you how to take a message and make money with the message. Okay. And what we're proposing to you is, is to allow us to help you bring this book to life, is to be your coach, is to be your book author. Is, is to be your uh, book coach and really show you the steps of how to take something from start to finish, get it out, how to, how to make it work, and more importantly, how to make money with it. And that's something I, that's, that's really my skill set is packaging and delivering concepts that can produce millions and millions of dollars. Okay. And if I can do it as a former high school basketball coach, you can do it. I guarantee it. So Gabby, let's talk about, there's people on here. Some of them have a book. <clears throat> but they don't know how to monetize the book. That's the problem. Yeah. Some of them have a concept, but they don't know how to get the book done. Some of them don't have a concept, but they know they have a message to sing. Like my, right, my wife wrote her book, Living with a Monster, you know, about how to live with an, an obsessed, crazy person like me. And, and she hasn't even scratched the surface of what that book could do. I but, know. But, but we have done coaching retreats, couples retreats, where we've made money with the book, where we brought people together, where we've done uh, a couple's evenings, where we've done like, 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 right. If she got serious about that book and said, man, I'm going to go on tour. I'm going to talk about this book. I'm going to do retreats. I'm going to do women's events for this. I'm gonna, like, she could take that book and make, make a million dollars with that book. If well, she wanted to. She did ask me what would happen if I repackage this and don't tell him that I asked you. <laughs> so she's thinking about it. Good. Natalie, sorry, I just added you on <laughs> webinar land because I told her there's people going to get divorced if you don't do it. And she said, well, damn, you're mean. That's a great, that is, that is such a great uh, way to say it because, because the truth is, the truth is, right? The truth is, it's true, right? Like, like, what, like what you said is true. She was like, you're mean. No wonder you guys work well together. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I told her, I said, it's simple. And she just said, like, you know, I think one of the things I'm going to talk about is what's actually stopping you. But one of the things she says, I'm, a, I'm afraid of like the way I'm going to, like people are going to perceive me if I start sharing this online. But the thing is, we all want to be honest and authentic, but we can put a spin on it. Like in the moment of fall break when you were there, but you were working the whole time. I was like, you should go live and say like, I'm irritated that my husband's working. Maybe you are too, but you know what? If he didn't work, we couldn't afford this beach house. Here's how I talked myself out of being angry with him and putting the spin on it. So, I mean, that's why everyone needs a publicist, right? Because we can spin your message and make it into gold. But there are three reasons you haven't written the book, mainly. One, you're afraid. Um, you're afraid of putting your work out there because you think it's been done. 
you think you're not good enough or you're afraid no one's going to take it. The second reason is failure. <clears throat> you're afraid you're going to put it out there. No one's going to say anything. You're going to look like a failure. Everyone's going to be so embarrassed. And the fourth one is the third one is fortune. You actually think you're going to get so famous that you're not going to be able to handle it. Those are the three common ones I see. So we have authors that come to me and I'm like, look, I know you know you're good. Like, why are you dragging your feet? And he said, you know, I just really like my job. I like my family. I like my wife. And Sean, if you're listening, this is you. And he said, I'm afraid because I know I'm going to hit and I don't know how I'll handle it. So as soon as we put your book out, you're not going on Oprah the next day. Like you have time to control the person of interest. And, you know, you have people behind you to support you. Like Coach Fritz has been doing this a long time. He probably says no seven times more than he says yes, even though he's like eager for opportunity because they're not all going to make sense. So you need someone with you on this journey that's done it before. Which one do you feel like it is? Will you tell me in the chat if you feel like you have fear, if you're afraid in general of the message, you're afraid of failing, or you're afraid of succeeding? Let me know which one is you. And the thing is, you just don't know how, and the confusion stops you. So what we're going to talk about in a little bit is a program we've created to support people. So we support you not only through the mechanics, thank you for sharing about the failure, not sure what to write, yep, confusion, like we know you, like, you know, you probably could give a TED talk on the topic tomorrow if someone asked you if you're not terrified of speaking. <laughs> yeah, so we just wanna support you and create a container where all, everyone else is doing the same thing as you and we're doing it in the same order and we help you create space to do it because yeah, I know you're all busy and so yes, no, taking that time. So even if you don't join what we're gonna tell you about later, what I would tell you to do is just block out time. Like, you know, block out time, take what we tell you today, spend, commit to yourself like that you're gonna spend an hour, an hour a day on this. And if you don't feel like you have an hour, go back and look at your screen time and you'll see that you do have time. Like how many minutes did you spend? Yeah, resistance is big, Lisa. How many minutes did you spend scrolling through Facebook? Hey, and a big thing a, a coach told me to do is I have to stop reading books until I write my book. Quit consuming other people's content and create yours. Mm -hmm. Cause I spend, I'm a book nerd. This is what I do for a living. Um, you know, obviously I love books, but if you don't read other people's books you'll have that time to write yours. Well, I wanna, I wanna address those things because <clears throat> here's the stats. Over 200 million Americans say they wanna write a book. That's 81%. I have a simple saying, if life's worth living it's worth writing down. Okay, and you have a song to sing and people to sing that song too. And some of these fears that you have, well, I'm not good enough. Well, I don't know. Listen, when I was 25 years old, folks, I was a young coach who just had a simple desire. That was to help other young coaches. I had no idea the book would open all these doors for me. I would become a speaker. I would build a coaching business. I would go down this path. I would become a best-selling author. I would sign publishing deals. I would take one of the books and turn it into a reality TV show. Like... Here's what I tell people. Nothing happens until you move. Nothing happens, right? You can't sell the asset until you have the asset. We don't know what will happen when you write the book. We don't know if one, if one person will buy it. And if one person buys it, maybe that's all that matters, right? Like the book, Everybody Needs a Coach in Life, I just told you, made me probably $400,000 by having that book, by that one person walking, who I'd never met before, walk into a bookstore and, and pick it up. So here's what I tell people, the longer you sit with that inertia and the longer you have a dream or goal or something to say, but you don't say it, right? If, if life's worth living, it's worth writing down. You have a song to sing, you have people to sing that song too. And when you start doing that, right? And if you're gonna be a person of interest in the world, name one person of interest that don't have their own book. Even celebrities write their own books. Even big time coaches write their own books. Even major CEOs write their own books. Like I can't, it's hard for me to name a person that's a big time person that doesn't have a book, right? And I think about Maxwell when, when you know, I met John Maxwell, went to his publishing days 10, 10 or 15 years ago. I went to a day, this a day about books, about his process, about how he'd written 70 books, right? Well, here's the deal. He didn't write those books. <laughs> That's how he wrote 70 books, right? Charlie Wetzel wrote them. Who was his writer? He came up with ideas. Charlie Wetzel wrote the book. They have a little machine going, right? And, and they're pumping those things out. And Maxwell's job was to go out and speak and coach on the book and, right? and, and, and build products around the book. And, he, and his job is to come up with the concept, okay? So after 16 books that I've written, then I now have a formula. 
I have a way to write the book. I have a way to get the book out. I have a way to make money with the book. I have retreats about how we coach people and how to do that. Right. And so what we figured out is this, you need a, you, you, you really need a book coach. You could do it the hard way like I did, which is write 16 over X number of years, or you could have somebody come along and go, look, let me give you a framework. Let me give you a model. Let me give you some coaching. Let me walk you through the process and let me help you pump this puppy out. And the reality is I don't even sell my first book anymore, folks. Okay. I don't even sell it. First or second, right? The first one helped me to get better. The second one helped me get better. The third one is really. So when I'm thinking about people like Doug Peacock on here has a book out. Yes, we need to sell that book. Yes, we need to pump that book. Yes, yes, we need to do that book. Yes, we need, right? But really it's about the monetization and it is about the learning process that I went through. Because if I didn't write the first one, there wouldn't be a second one. There wouldn't be a third one. There wouldn't be a fourth one. There wouldn't be a 17th one. Best thing I ever did at 25 years old. The best thing I ever did at 25 years old was sit down and write that book. And you say, why? Because that, that started my journey of becoming a known quantity in the world. It's forced me to get clear on what I wanted to say. And what I wanted to say is that gummit, everybody needs a good coach in life. Now, what's funny is I write that book, Changing Lives Through Coaching, because I believe a good coach can what? Change your life. 10 years later, I come back and write, everybody needs a coach in life, which is the later version of the seminal work. Okay, so so Gabby, when people are out here and they're thinking about this and you're going through these fears, okay, let, let's talk about the steps that they need to start taking to, to get this project up and going because inertia is going to tell you, oh, it'll take too long. I had a good friend, one of my best friends. I hope he's watching this, Brandon Burks. The dude did a, $150 million in mortgage production. He was a high school basketball coach. And I'm like, dude, you got to write the book from zero to a hundred million. How many mortgage people, and it needs to be from high school basketball coach, right? To, to mortgage person, right? Like, 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 like we just did the book for Brian Covey, conversations with Covey, who is right. One of the top guys at Lone Depot. And, and he gets it. He's like, this is part of being a person of interest. I got a book. I got a podcast. I got a message. Do you think that helps him recruit people to Loan Depot? You better believe it. You think that helps him get on Brad Lee's podcast? You better believe it. You think that helped him connect with some of the top people in the world? You better believe it, folks. And so for you, th this is very important to your journey. And so I'll say this. If, if When you come to me at 25, you say, look, looking back over your career, coach, you're 44 years old. What's the best thing you ever did? 25 years old. No, having no clue. Having no Gabby Garrett in my life. Nobody coaching me. I just sat down and wrote a book, man. And I'm like, this is the best thing I ever did. Looking back on it now, it's the best, one of the best things I ever did. I promise you. Let me talk a little bit about Brian. And I think he was going to tune in. So Brian, if you're listening, tell us, hey, if not, we'll, see, we'll maybe see you in the comments afterwards. Brian's my favorite ideal person to do, to do the person of interest work with because he's so engaged and he's so excited. But, and I love all my other authors, but he's the only one launching right now. So looking back at like what, why he decided to write the book. So he was really strategic. So he reached out to people that were at a higher level than him in different industries and asked them, would you like to be on my podcast and created the audience. So we we're able to write pieces for him based on the podcast. So he didn't actually have to do any work. So he already created the content. You know, we write about the key lessons from each podcast. Coach has a chapter in there. Now, why that was so smart is because by positioning himself next to these people, he automatically gets to jump to their person of interest level. So like I work with Coach Burt, so like, you know, I automatically jump up to where he is. And then anyone him and I engage with, they see us, you know, on the same level. Obviously I'm junior to a senior, but so he did that. And then we're able to reach out to each of those people and use them as promotional partners. So if you have people that you want to connect with, it's awesome because people don't want you on their podcast just to talk about your concept. They want you on the podcast to talk about the book. So this is all the concept is. It's everything you're trying to coach your friends and family, begrudgingly, even if they don't want you to. And the thing, like Coach Joyce says, it's a word document of your philosophy. So what you're doing is saying, this is the concept I'm going to focus on for, let's say, the next year. And then we take that concept and we create you a course. We create you a consulting business. We create a podcast. We create a person of interest. We let you write articles on that topic. Then you need to hold your space there for a while so you become known as the person who does that. I don't sell books and book coaching for a year and then totally leave industries and do something else. It didn't give me enough time to really hold my stake. So whatever it is, you wanna know who it's for, 
what you're going to teach them and why the hell would they care? That's it, that's really it. And also I want you to talk to that fear voice. When we did the publishing retreat, we named it because it's stopping you and it's just like, you want to talk to it like a kid. You know, if Ella Grace was like, I'm scared of my painting, you wouldn't be like, shut up. Like, you know, poor kid. Like with you, when your fear voice shows up, just be like, I'm so sorry you think that putting a book on Amazon is going to make you die, but it's not. Right. Right. Now, so when you think about this process and you think about writing this book and you think about this message, I, I want to come back to the theme of, you know, you've had a revelation and now there needs to be a resolution. Mm -hmm. I'm coaching one of the top, uh, the top door to door salesperson in the world in Michael O'Donnell, who is writing a book with our publishing division. And, um, he, he walks in to, to the, he knocks on the door. He go, he's 57 years old. He goes into a complete stranger's house and he, he says to them, you're going to do something today that you never thought you were going to do. That's going to be good for you. And you're going to do it today. Right. When it comes to this project of writing your book, the question becomes, how many years do you wait before you get started on this? How many years? See, I, here's my point. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing today. If it's worth doing, it's worth taking an action on now, right? Because, because like I said, the monetization of a concept happens. I can't monetize. I can't show you how to make a million dollars with the book until you have a book, right? I can't do it unless you have something. So I want you to think of it this way. I find what makes me special. I package what makes me special. And I sell and monetize what makes me special, right? I, I find it. This is what I want to say. This is how I package it into something the consumer can absorb, right? The consumer can absorb this, meaning I can taste it, touch it, feel it, experience it, okay? And then I need to go out and brand and market myself to sell it. The book doesn't sell itself. It's a concept that can be sold. Could it be sold to a niche? Could it be sold to the masses? Could it be right? So when I wrote the book, my third book, This Ain't No Practice Life, that was a book for everybody. I'm not saying like, man, this ain't no freaking, this ain't no freaking pr practice life, man. I was a basketball coach. Like there ain't say no dress rehearsal. You get one shot at life. That really was my first book that people started going, hey, we want you to come speak on that concept. We want you to come talk about this ain't no practice life. Then I began writing books, Gabby, that were very specific person of interest, which became my next most popular book, million dollar follow-up, which is about how you build a methodology, right? Now I'm writing the book on called Flip the Switch, how to activate the prey drive in you and your people. And I'm using that animal concept of prey drive, which is prevalent in a dog. And I'm, and I'm twisting it and I'm saying humans have a prey drive. Humans uh, have a desire to, to go bigger. Humans want to pursue their potential like, like the dog pursues the prey. And I'm taking it and I'm turning it into boot camps and virtual summits and retreats and coaching programs and corporate contracts and a verbiage where people come to me and go, hey, I want, I want you, I want you to bring people, I want you to activate my people's prey drive. My buddy Chuck McDowell said, uh, dog smell. Right? It's a dog smell concept you got, coach. <laughs> the dog chasing stuff. And, 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 and then my, another buddy who just got in the coaching program, another friend said, man, I want you to activate that Wolverine inside of me. <laughs> I I'm think like, it's all the same because here's the deal. They're talking about it. I want you to activate my prey drive. You've activated my prey drive. You helped me, me come alive, right? Beast mode. This is prey drive, folks. So here's the deal. I'm going to take that concept and make millions of dollars with it because I'm going to take it to the world and become the leading authority on that. That's how you got to think. Without the book, Hey, you're the expert on prey drive, but you don't have a book about it. You don't have a website about it. You don't have this, right? You're right. I'm doing, I'm, you know, what's the dark side of prey drive? So, so tonight we're here to, to get you off the fence really. And to say, you've had a revelation and now it's time to make the resolution. And now it's time to quit talking about it. I heard Ed Milet speak in Salt Lake city. It was me, Ed Milet, and Tim Grover. We were the keynote speakers at the door-to-door -door conference. And Milet talked about being casual with your potential. The problem is you're too casual with your potential. You just mess around. You just dabble. You just goof off with it. You don't get serious about it. Well, 
I sat there and I'm like, man, he's talking to me. Like, like there's all these things I'm tired of messing around with. I'm tired of not doing this. I'm tired of not doing this. I'm tired of not doing this. Like I'm going to take action on these things. And so what we're telling you tonight, man, is how, how long are we going to talk about it? How long are you going to be casual about it? How, at, at what point do you get serious about it? At what point do you write the book of your life? So at what point do you become a person of interest? Today is the day, right? How long are you willing to let that dream live like rent free in your head? Like we all know there's things that chase us around in our head. So like it's going to keep living there. It's an unclosed loop and unclosed loops take energy. And that energy could be used to help other people to create jobs, to make money, to change lives. Like whatever is weighing on you or like sticking in your brain is asking you, please solve me. Like, don't let it just live there unclosed when you could close it and then think through like, how can I get the book in front of people today? Like the potential is limitless. First of all, you can bulk order them on Amazon for a really low cost. You can mail them to all your friends. You can ask them to post them on social media. Just there, you can make your investment back. I mean, just there, like if each person, each person in your group, you know, gets 10 people on there, then those 10 people see it. They want to hire you. They buy a consulting package. How much content do you need? It's really up to you. I mean, you know, this is one of our books we just finished. And so this is about the size of the average book we're writing. But, you know, I mean, this is, this shows you they're not big books, but they're nice books. We're working on a bookshelf for me to be able to show you guys all of them back here. But, you know, some of Coach's books are really small. I mean, the concept, no, I think we can all agree. We don't want to spend a week reading a book. We need to change our lives now. So make it something someone can read on their lunch break, come back and impact their teams. When you think about the book, this is what I tell people. What is the purpose of writing the book? And the purpose could be, I want to position myself as an authority figure. It could be the purpose is I want to use the book to become known and famous in the world. The purpose could be, <clears throat> I have, um, I have something that I think has got to be said because I, I got hurt in this scenario and I don't want other people to hurt this way. Could be, I want to start a movement. It could be, I want to tackle a problem. It could be, I want to use the book to generate leads. I use books for different reasons. Okay. For example, when I wrote the book, um, legacy selling, the whole purpose of that book is take my selling system, package it up and use it. So other people could follow along the system, right? But it's really to generate leads. Okay. That's the purpose of the book to, to, send out to people, run Facebook ads, have people get it for free, me have their information. Maybe it's to sell people into my boot camp on monster growth. Maybe it's to get, put them into my monster producer coaching program. The book is a lead generator. That's the purpose of the book. So, so when Brian asked that question, how big does the book need to be? If you could learn a concept in, if you could learn a concept in, in, in a day versus 21 days, how long would you like to learn it? If you had to sit down, like I, I got some big books, one by Robert Green, The Laws of Human Nature, uh, you know, which is this big, thick, intimidating book. And I read it, but I read it a little bit at a time. Right. And, and I think, man, if he could say what he needed to say right now, he would tell you that, that, that he needed to write that book that thick to dig deep into the psychology of human nature. But I think we live in a world that, uh, you know, you can write a book that's 20,000 words. Person of interest is a great example for me. You can do it hardback. You can do it softback. I just bought this ain't no practice life uh, on Amazon, like 200 copies for $2 and 60 something dollars that hey, I turn around as an author and resale. Do you want to do something we've never done before? Should we hot seat coach a few people? Yes. I think okay. that'd be great. Let's do something different. Um, okay. I think we should pick someone who has each one of the fears. So I'm going to, yeah, you'll have to be vulnerable here, but it's a chance to get coached by both of us for free. So just going to take like five minutes. We're going to walk you through uh, the realistic side of it uh, and make sure you do this. So tell me someone who's afraid that the message has been said before, or they're not good enough, who would like to be coached out of that. You can raise your hand and I think coach could, yay, Rhea. All right, let's go. There she is. Rhea is my star. She's doing so well. Um, hi. You see me? Hi. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay. I don't need to be seen, right? Okay. No. All right. 
So, um, can you repeat again the question? I'm like, <laughs> we'd like to help you through the fear of your work is not good enough. Oh yes. So, um, I'm a landlord of 50 units, right? And so, you know, I, I, I follow several people and they have, uh, 500 units, a thousand units, 5,000 units, and I'm only 50. So writing the book is like so scary. I follow Ken McElroy from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yep. I mean, these guys are bigger pockets. I mean, these guys are huge. And I'm like, nobody will read my book because it's only 50. And these guys are doing thousands of units. So that's, you know, that's the, uh, the hindrance in me for not doing what now, I need to be doing. Here's the deal. When, when I was coaching... And I was 25 years old. I hadn't won a championship, right? I didn't really have that much to say. But when I wrote the book, I was one of the only high school coaches that had a book. Now I'm, now I'm two-dimensional. I'm not only a coach, I'm an author. Now I've got an advantage. It's not only coach, right? Then I, then I start speaking. Now I'm not just a coach. I'm a coach, author, speaker. Then I won a championship. Now I'm a championship coach, author, speaker. Now, right now, now, boom, boom. Now I'm building my arsenal. Okay. Here's what I would tell you. Ken McElroy started probably with 50, with 50 units too. Every big star was once a little star that wanted to be big. A consideration is an internal thought that prohibits an external action. An internal thought like I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have, like Ken McElroy is really an expert here. I'm not an expert. Well, I guarantee you. Uh, I'm good friends with Sharon Lecter and Sharon Lecter, when she started working with Robert Kiyosaki, he had one or two apartment complexes and his total net worth was like $200,000 total net worth. Okay. And now here's the deal that became rich dad, poor dad that sold millions and I think 42 million copies of that book. And that became a global and international company company. So here's the deal. And you know, here's what's interesting for everybody listening. If you know that story, all he had was a piece of paper and he had written in crayons, uh, the game, the cash flow quadrant game. He said, I got a board game and he took it to Michael Lecter, who was an intellectual property attorney, who was Sharon Lecter's husband. And he said, what do I, I want to, I want to build a board game called cash flow, and I don't know how to do it. And, and Michael Lecter said, you need to know my wife because my wife sold talking books to, to, to Disney or something like that and, and, and licensed the concept, boom. Next thing you know, they sit down and they start Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And here's how it started. He said he wanted to sell the board game for $200. This was back in the 80, uh, 90s. And Sharon Lecter said, if you're going to sell the board game for $200, you got to have a brochure that explains the game. And the brochure became the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which, which sold 42 million copies, folks, and made them both famous. So to you, to your question, this is why every person on this call has got to get started writing a book because you never know what's going to happen when you take an action. And that's the purpose. Don't worry about who's going to read it. <laughs> Don't worry about how many copies it's going to sell. Don't worry about who it's going to market. Don't worry about if it's going to be a bestseller. It don't matter, folks. It starts the cycle of working the muscle. And, and that is incredibly valuable. So the last thing I would say to you, Rhea, is what she didn't tell you guys is she was a physician and she pivoted into this. So one, you can also become a pivot expert. We don't know. You know, that's a huge switch. Secondly, when people pick up a book to start real estate investing, ain't nobody thinking they're going to buy 500,000. They're thinking they'll buy 50. So you, they're, you're your book is actually very needed in the marketplace because if I come into a lot of money, which coach is going to make sure I do, then I'm going to read your book. I'm not going to read the other guy's book. That's going to confuse me. I'm going to read your book anyway, but we need you and we're glad that you're here. All you're right. welcome. You're welcome. We're going to bring on Brian who had a couple of logistical questions next. Brian White. All right, Brian White, you're coming up next, big guy. Let me find him in the group. We're bringing people on and we're answering questions on this concept of the book and the concept of getting started with your book and we're overcoming the considerations and hesitations you may have about taking a book. A consideration is a hesitation. 
You're scared of something. I don't have anything to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to package it. I don't know how to sell it. I don't know how to market it. I don't know what to do. Okay, good. That's why you got us, guys. We're going to be coaching you. We're going to be coaching you on what to do, what to say, how to package it, how to sell it. It's going to yep. be great. Brian, let's go ahead and tackle your questions. Yes, sir. Um, what? I have a title. I have a storyline. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about what's too much information, what's not enough. Do you, how does this work? Do I, do I write it? And then the publisher cleans it up. I, I got, I, I've got a, a, something that's really burning and I, I really want to share it and just don't, a, need, don't know that first step. Are you planning on writing the book yourself? And you just want to know if you get it, if you brain dump all of it, if we can clean it up. Yeah. Is that how you do it? There's a few ways we do it. We're going to tell you guys about a way that we can kind of talk through you writing the book in our VIP level. What we do is we have Andy, who's our third partner, looks like a silent partner tonight because he's agreed that coach and I love attention and we can be the show ponies, but he's <laughs> fabulous. Um, and he's a tactician as coach says. So he designs the outline for you, keeping in the back end. and Andy's great. I mean, you might come in there with an idea and he'll show you an idea that actually allows you to make multiple six figures a year from the book. So you're with Andy, like three calls, you come to my team and we actually interview you to pull out more information from you and put it all in your book. You go back to Andy, he packages it and we have a hundred percent success rate on making Amazon bestsellers. Okay. So to answer your question, you wouldn't have to write at all if you did it that way. Um, if you choose to write, which we'll tell you guys how to do it, you can then um, just have us edit it at the end, which might be what you're looking for. Okay, good enough. Thank yeah. you. So there's gonna be, yeah, so there's gonna be, uh, one thing we're going to introduce tonight, which is a new program that we have that um, we're very excited about, which is an author coaching program. You know, basically what we're what we put together is we 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 I started a publishing division in the middle of the pandemic because so many people came to me wanting to write books because I, I had written 16 books. So we built a team with Gabby and Andy and a group of writers, and we have been actively doing about eight to 10 books a month as you can see with some of our top monster producers is we are we are basic in essence publishing those books mm -hmm. and um but then we stepped back and we said you know for the people that take that path it's a twenty one thousand dollar investment which is incredibly low compared mm -hmm. to the market most people are going to charge thirty or forty thousand dollars for you to write them to help you write the book and so but we stepped back and we said look not everybody's ready to bite off $21,000 for whatever reason. They're not ready in their life. They don't, they're not, they're just not ready. So what we really need is a coaching program for people that want to write their own book. And what we really need is we need a program that will help people write their book and be coached by a best-selling author, be coached by a journalist and writer in Gabby, be coached by a tactician and a person that is the mechanics of the book. And that's really what I would recommend for a lot of you guys is that we coach you through the process of writing your book. Okay, so tonight, you know, we're basically un unveiling that, mm -hmm. uh, unveil unveiling that program. And so Gabby, talk a little bit about this authority program, about how we can coach them through writing their book, right? And there could be some people on here say, look, I don't want to go through that. I just want you to write it for me. I want you to ghostwrite it. I want you to package it. I'm ready for that package. You know, yeah. Brian Covey's done that. A lot of our top monster producers have done that. Denise Dean has done that. Like, like we, like we got eight to 10 a month, folks. Of yeah. People that we're writing the book for them. 22 so, people in that program. So people really enjoy that program. What I'm going to talk to you guys about is the group program. So this is something new. So every time we roll out something new, we give it at a really great rate. When we first rolled out our bestseller package, it was $15,000. We were grossly undercharging for that because we wanted to make sure we were good at it. Now we know we're good at it and we want to help serve more people. We're actually on a wait list for the VIP package. We still sell it, but you're about a six week delay out because we just had so much success in it. We grew it by six times in about 45 days. So we went from making, you know, X number six times by that. So we know we're good at it. So this is something we're really excited about. And it's something that you're not going to be able to get for a long time. I mean, you guys have been following Coach Burt for a while. Like, I mean, his, his personal interest store keeps growing. So it's not going to be very common that you're going to have group coaching programs with one-on-one -on -one attention with him for long. So in this process, what you're going to do is you're going to meet with coach 
get big picture ideas, get excited, meet with Andy, tactile down, like, how does it work? What do I say next? Meet with me. I'm going to write it, help review your writing. I have a team of nine. We're here for you. And then you go back to coach. He gets you excited again. You go back to Andy. He breaks it down and you go back to me and I review your work. We repeat that cycle three times. So you get three group coaching sessions with each of us. So you're going to get nine total, three with each of us. At the end of the nine week cycle, we will have told you exactly how to write a book and you can repeat it. You can download the calls, you can keep them. And we know you're good people. You're not going to share it with other people, but anytime you write a book, you can go back to these videos, which is the most powerful part about it. Yeah. It's, it's an author coaching program. I mean, right at the end of the day, if Dorinda Searcy says, I want to write a book, right. But I need help and I need coaching. And, but where do I go? What do I do? And then, and then when she gets the book, how do I make money with the book? How do I monetize the book? How do I take it to the next level? How do what? Like, what do I do? So think of it as you've got three coaches in this program. You've got me that's used books to generate millions of dollars through speaking, coaching, training, leading, publishing. You've got Gabby, who is a writer, media uh, expert. You've got a tactician that's teaching you the fundamentals. This is how we build the outline. This is how we build the chapters. This is how we make the story compelling. This is how we start out the deal. And so really, you got three experts coaching you um, over. Uh, a nine week period and we're condensing it. It's very important. And I was watching this interview with Cardone uh, about the show Undercover Billionaire. And he was talking about the value of having a compressed time cycle. Like there's a time, like instead of you talking about this book for 27 years, some of you have been talking about it for 10 years and 20 years by your own admission, we're going to do this in nine weeks. We're going we're gonna to break this down. We're going to package this puppy up. We're going to get bored. Like I'm writing a book right now. The deadline for the book is March 23rd. I got to have 65,000 words written. What is today, Gabby? January 5th, 6th, 7th. Dadgummit, I got to get going. I got to lock myself up and I got to pump out 65,000 words for this book on prey drive. So what am I doing? Research, taking notes, writing it up. I have a formula I use. I go away to a retreat. I get inspired. I work on it for 12 or 14 hours. And I got to pump that puppy out. Okay. This is the same thing. We're going to coach you in a nine week cycle. Three times with me, three times with Gabby, three times with, with our tactician on, on how to do the book. Okay. And then you're going to pump this puppy out. It's a commitment. It's like, I'm going in for, it's like, I'm going in for, I don't know how many days it is like nine. you know, this, I don't know how many nine weeks it is, but it's 45. <laughs> I don't know. It's right. whatever school semester. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys are like, asking like about, I'm yeah, pumping this puppy out, man. I'm pumping this puppy out. They were asking about the price. So it's 4,000. It's right under 5,000. It's 4,995. So it's a think about the value of that. I mean, the value of coaches hour and what you're getting and the ability to do that is huge. You know, Andy has been able to create most like he's been able to really niche down so specifically with his book that he's able to create, like I said, multiple six figures, but also seven figure empires for other people. Nope. It's not 21,000. The, the VIP level is, but the group program we're offering is literally less than $5,000. So I think it's a sale of a deal. And coach mentioned that I was a journalist. I've been able to support people um, at the seven and eight million dollar, billion dollar level on their media message strategy. And I've been able to create articles that have gone viral so my art out of a million articles on entrepreneur.com mine was number five this year so i'm proud of the writing i do and i know i can help you do that yeah now here's the deal uh folks gabby has been my media director for over a year now and helping me take my message to the marketplace and trust me i don't work with bozos <laughs> if you know anything about me i do not work with bozos i don't keep bozos i don't have i don't tolerate bozos I only want the, the professionals. So, so when you think about it, here's your options, folks. I just like, I'm a realist, man. We can talk about this for, for 27 days. You can keep talking about it for three years. You can have this dream for the rest of your life. And, or you can say, dadgummit, I owe it to myself and the people who could read this book that it could change their life to get the coaching I need to, to, to bring this book to life. Okay. And we're offering you two options. One option is the group coaching option where you get me for three weeks, you get Gabby, you get Andy for three weeks, and we coach you through writing the book. That's $49.95. Okay. The alternative option for that is say, look, I don't want to even do this, go through this. I just want y'all to help me write the book. I already got the message. I already know what I want to say. I already 
already already ready to rock and roll. And that's twenty one thousand bucks, and that's still cheaper by about ten thousand. Yeah, we would, Steve, yeah. They were some people ask me about a payment plan. Um, we don't have a payment plan for this um, because we it's a low ticket offer. However, we don't start till the first week of January. So if you want to put, you know, put your paychecks aside, we really totally respect that. We wanted to give you enough time to get ready for it. So you have almost a, a month till we get started. Um, there are a couple of cool things I want to tell you guys about. We're doing a Facebook group for this. So you're going to have access in a community of authors and monsters who are doing this together. But also if you take action tonight, I'm going to send you all of the media trainings I did in 2020, which will show you really cool stuff, guys. It'll show you how to make a profile on BuzzFeed on Today Parenting and Food Club, on a couple of spiritual websites, on Thrive Global. Um, it'll teach you how to be your own publicist. It'll teach you how to really hone in on your message. And one of the, my favorite things that are in there is how to stop selling cats and lingerie, how to stop confusing your audience. So if you take action tonight, Coach will forward me all of the sales by tomorrow. You know, I'll make sure you get access to all of my trainings. There's over 12 there. So I mean, tons of content. You can be preparing to hone in on your message before we meet. Gabby, and I'm thinking about this for the for the 42 people that are on here tonight. Here's what I would like to extend. I, I, if you're serious about this, and 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 I want to sweeten the pot for people, because you showed up tonight, you obviously want to write a book. If you will commit tonight to the package that we're offering, the nine week coaching program, the mentoring, okay, I will include two day publishing summit with me at my lodge where you get two days with me, two full days, me, Gabby, right? And we will coach you through the monetization of your book. We are charging $4,500 for that, that publishing retreat by itself. Wow. Okay. So I'm only doing it, Gabby. So make sure you make a note of this for the people yeah. who take action tonight. Not doing it tomorrow. Not doing it the next day. Heck, I don't even know why I'd, committed to just doing it right now i know this is crazy guys like i mean this is like if we were like on an infomercial i'm like that's <laughs> i mean that's crazy guys like i mean that retreat is so valuable i mean people have been paying six and seven thousand dollars to come to those retreats you got plenty of time if you start with it yeah 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 you can totally upgrade later james but the, yay katie but the cool thing is james you're still gonna have access to the group and that way, when you're in the wait list period, we'll, we, if anybody decides to upgrade to the 21,000, we'll apply your group program to the 21,000. So you won't have great any deal. cost. That's, that's a great deal. So, so I'm clear for everybody on here to take action. You got to take action tonight. You got to hit the link. Okay. You got to hit the link. You got to pay the money. And I'm going to give you the two day boot camp uh, at my lodge on Monster Publishing, which will show you monetization. It's incredible boot camp. Okay, make sure the link's working. <laughs> it's make working. sure the link's working. It's working for me. Uh, hmm. Are you on your phone or are you on your computer? You got to be on your computer to use the link. Laptop, okay. and it's not working for you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the link and see what it says. All right, the link, see what it says. All right, it's working for me. All right, there's the link. $49.95. I'm going to click down here at the bottom to make sure. And, and we can send you, we can send you, I can very, if, if that person, if it's not working for them, I can, uh, I, I can very easily send them something. Okay. This is Katie. This is the event in um, Christina, Tennessee at Coach's Lodge, not the one in Scottsdale. Chastity wants to know, Chastity's trying to sweeten her deal. She wants to know if she takes action tonight, can her husband come to the boot camp? Get it, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Wow. You guys, I'm, per this is good deal. I'm perfectly fine with that. You can bring your significant other to a romantic weekend on the lodge. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Because here's the deal. You know, I, I really see that as it's like me and my wife. I see it as as one, you know. So when I go to something, I don't want to pay for me and her. I, I mean, especially if we're doing it together and we want to be part of it together. So, you know, if you're out there and you're in, and that's something for you. Listen, that those two days with me at the lodge alone, uh, alone are, are going to be worth, uh, are going to be worth the 5,000 bucks. Then you're going to get nine weeks of coaching with Gabby and I, right? Let me and, pull up those dates. All right. Um, we're event together. I love it. Yep. we got the dates here and let's see. Let's see. Our retreat at the lodge is, is it, that's the one in March, right? Um, yep. I can tell you when it is. Okay. The monster publishing retreat. 
and I is the April 15th and 16th, April 15th and 16th. And here's the deal. I'm going to do that two or three times. Okay. So if you can't come to that one, don't worry about that. You can come to the next one, April 15th and 16th in my lodge. If some of you are saying you really want to do it, but you don't have the 4995 yet, you know what I would, when I wanted to do B school, which is Marie Forleo's entrepreneur program, you know, I called my mom and said, Hey, you paid for my sister's wedding. I'm not married. Will you pay for B school? She said, yes. And so, uh, oh, you know, I, it was, it was great. So, I mean, I would ask someone and say like, do you believe it? How about all those people who believe in your potential with the book? You could start a GoFundMe. There's a lot of things we can do if, like I read the book, You're a Badass at Making Money. And it said, you know, there's always a way to find it. There's always a way to find it. And we're not trying to be hard with the no payment plan, but we're offering so much value for this that for um, our admin supportive team, it's it's just much simpler. I'm sure you guys understand you all run businesses. Okay. There we go, Daniel Hodges. Daniel so Hodges. Not if you have to, yeah. yeah that. Daniel, Daniel Hodges is doing the, the big package with us, you know, and we're helping him write his book and he's got a lot to say. So I think he would tell you, man, come on, this is crazy. You're going to get nine weeks of coaching. You're going to get a two day boot camp with Coach Burt for under 5,000 bucks. Okay. Now, just so I know, I want to make sure, um, I want to make sure, uh, Gabby, we can get a screenshot of everybody that's in because we want to make sure the link's working, people can take action. They, here's the deal. You got to pay, right? You got, you got to do it tonight if you're going to get the two-day boot camp, all right? It's not open tomorrow, so you got to take action on the deal to make sure it's working. So if you have any questions, now's the time to ask us. For those people that are in, raise your hand. Or tell, tell me again who's in. If you're in, if you're doing it, let me know so I can see. Chris Yarborough, okay? I'm telling the people on Facebook. Okay, Chastity Davenport's, I'm in. Chris Yarborough's in. Good, thank you. Okay, Mary Lee, you, you're going to get there. It's going to be good for you. Okay. You got, you got time until February. You just won't get the bonuses, but but you can still join our program. Katie Schmidt's in. Okay. Yeah, are you, I'm, I'm not saying these, are you only saying, let me see. Yep, I'm just going through the comments right here with everybody. I would also tell you anytime you make an aligned investment in yourself, it propels you to the next level. The money always comes back. If you believe when you make this investment that it's going to take you to the next level and allow you to serve more people, you'll be supported in the investment. Absolutely. I'm seeing these messages. I'm just making sure I got everybody here. Okay. What questions do you have? Because if you got any questions, this would be a good time. To, to ask the question. Okay, come on, Doug Peacock. I like Doug, man, football coach. Got a lot to say. Yes, I did say you could bring your spouse to the retreat. Mm -hmm. What does the nine weeks look like? Is the coaching in person? What's the time commitment? It's one hour a week, 3 p.m. Central time on Thursdays. Yeah. And Dorinda, when we do those, there'll be Zooms, the coaching sessions, and we have the replays. We'll send the replays out to everybody. Um, you know, so if you miss anything, you'll be able to go back and watch that. Cookie, you, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you starting the process till you get to 49.95. Here's what I want to tell you guys. I was telling somebody this today. I have a publishing deal right now with McGraw Hill. I've got an advance. The book's going to be in bookstores and airports in February. I got, I got 90 days to pump out 65,000 words. I've got to, I've got to spend, uh, I'll most likely have to spend every bit of that advance to market that book. So, so just because I have a publishing deal, uh, doesn't mean I'm not going to spend 30 or 40 or $50,000 promoting the book. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really important for you guys to understand. Just signing a publishing deal don't mean that you just get to keep free money. Okay. So you're going, when you start a book and write a book, you're going to have an investment in that book. I'm going to have to have a ghostwriter. I have a person to help me write the book. That's part of my contract. I'll have to then put a buy space in airports. That's part of my book. So I think a lot of people don't really understand whether you are a major published author or you self-publish a book, you're going to have an investment in the book. And right here, you're paying really for coaches, people to coach you and how to do that. So that's really what I would tell you. Another thing you're getting with this is you're getting 
a marketing team because every week we're going to be honing in your message and making you more clear. So you're not just getting a book writing team. You're getting a strategic analysis from Coach Bird every week on how to do the back end. You're getting a very niche specific information from Andy. Andy also included um, in the bonuses all of the emails you need to launch the book, which are huge. He's been perfecting those for years. But every week you're going to be creating information, which means you own the information. Correct, Chris. Yes, we will apply it. Exactly. Um, you can use that information as your blog post, your LinkedIn post, your social media posts. You're going to be generating content every week, which is exactly what you need to do to make money. So if in the first week you get such a big revelation from this resolution that you then post something and you get your first VIP day client or your first coaching client, like I guarantee you your return on energy, your return on investment, your return on objection, it's, it's going to be extraordinary. We've literally never offered something like this. We've just had such a high demand that we wanted to help more people. And I want to say congratulations to Doug Peacock, first person to take action on that link. Come on, coach. Come on, coach. You get me excited. I'm, here, I'm ready to get up and run around. I'm ready to run around and do some push-ups. And <laughs> hey, and everybody watching us on Facebook, the link is below. I've commented below on my channel and coach's channel. Just to recap for everybody, you're literally getting the publishing retreat for you and your spouse. If you're single, bring a friend, bring an entrepreneurial friend. We're okay with that. Um, you're getting all of my trainings from last year, over $6,000 worth of value. So you can just be BFFs with me for 30 days before we start. You're getting the launch emails from Andy. Are they getting anything else? Well, they're getting, they're getting, right? They're getting somebody who's written 16 books coaching yeah. them. Yeah. And, and like I said, somebody who's signed three major publishing deals. They're getting somebody who knows how to make millions of dollars with the book. They're getting all that experience. I mean, what we're really giving you is we're going to show you how to do it. When when my wife wrote her book, I hired a person to come in and help her write the book and and draw it out of her and coach her and 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 do it. And I'm telling you, when she held that book in her hand, she was so proud and she was scared to do it. And I said to her, "Your desire to help people has got to be greater than your desire to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Your desire to help people has got to be greater than your desire to be comfortable." And she's like, "All right, I'm doing it." When she got that book, I'm telling you. There's no telling what that book can do. Help, it may save some marriages. It definitely will teach a person how to work with it. But here's my point. She didn't believe she could do it. She got some coaching and she did it. Now she's got the asset. Now we, we've already made all of our money back, by the way, by the way with our uh, Living with the Monster Couples retreats. We've already, so, so, so we, we have made it in book sales. We made it in retreats. But if she got serious about it, and hopefully she's watching this tonight, and really oh, right, yeah, to do it, then, right? <laughs> Good. Chris Yarbrough just came in. Congratulations, Chris. Come on. I feel like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, Chris. If my idea is off, can you help me make an impact? Yeah, totally. We're not, we don't publish crappy books. We do yeah. not publish crappy books. We don't want your name on it and we don't want our name on it. We want to make sure that these are high value books. And again, if you do decide to upgrade, I want everyone just to know you own the work. We take no ownership. You don't have to put Monster Publishing logo. No one has to know we exist. We are silent. Listen, listen, I've met James. James is a monster producer. I met him at 8% Nation. He's got an incredibly powerful story. And uh, and he he needs to he needs to share that message with the world. So James, I would encourage you. Okay. I know this is kind of part of your journey of sharing and helping other people. And I really, really would encourage you. If if you think you can do it, I think you need to do it. I really, really believe that. Because I know you and I know. I know some of your story that you share with me, which is very powerful. And um, man, I, I just, I, I, when I wrote this ain't no practice life, a person called me or they sent me a letter. I get a lot of letters in the mail and, 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 and real nice thank you notes. And a woman said to me, she said, I was going uh, uh, through a divorce. Or no, a guy said to me, I went through a divorce and I read and reread that book and listened to it on audio every single day day and that's one thing that got me through that's one thing that got me through uh my divorce i've had people go through you know obviously deaths uh loss of loved ones all these things and so sometimes it's that for me it's sometimes been music or a song or something that's got me through depressions or right like it's like man i'm telling you that when i was going through transition at 25 years old i lost every bit of my confidence I went through a terrible breakup. I thought I was going to marry a person. They end up breaking up with me. I took an engagement ring back. I listened to Joe Diffie songs and I read a book on transitions, man. And, 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 um, 
William Bridges wrote the book on transitions and I read that book and man, it helped me so much get through that, get through that depression in my life, clinically depressed, by the way, it helped me fight through and understand what was happening with me. So I'm such an advocate for books. If you've been through something and you want to help other people and you believe your message can help other people, I really encourage you to take that step, man, take that step and get that message out there. If it helps one person, man, if life's worth living, it's worth writing down. If it helps one person, it's worth it. How we're going to, you know, we're going to get off and eat our dinner soon. So I want to ask you guys, how are you going to feel in about three months when you still don't have your book written and this opportunity doesn't exist anymore? Because, you know, we're handing you a lifeline. We're willing to help you. We're literally made like based on the amount that it costs to do the publishing retreat in each of our hours, our actual profit line is, you know, relatively low on this. And we're okay with that. We're doing this as a way to help more people get their books out there. Monster Publishing is a very profitable entity and we'd like to help even more people. So we plan on running these a few times throughout the year. So you will have another chance when this group ends. And if you decide to join later, if you don't have the money now and you want to join, you can still join later. You'll just have to watch all the replays and get caught up. But you won't be going to the publishing retreat. You won't have all of my trainings. And how many people are on the fence right now? How many people do we have that are just like yeah, hovering over that? Great on the fence. Yeah, how many people do we have hovering over that purchase button? James is going to do it. We're going to team up to get that message on the, to the world. Well, how many other people are on the fence? Sandy Rose is on the fence. I got a lot My of people. wife on the fence. What if we give them one more thing? <laughs> how many of you think? So you are all on the fence. Okay, I don't do this anymore at all. But if you guys sign up, I will do a 30 minute strategy session with you, which you're oh. charging, which you're charging 555 for and 999 for. So if you want, yes, if you've already signed up, you can do that. You'll just have to email me to set up a time. I um, don't do that anymore because I spend my time working with our authors and hold up in my little cabin. But if you sign up tonight, I'll meet with you for 30 minutes and I am a strategist, a media expert, a journalist. I can look at your book. I can look at your website. Yeah. Launch trip and strategy session. And yep. coach, wouldn't you say I'm a good brainstorm partner? Yeah, absolutely. Like I'm looking at this going, dang, man, for, for you can come to the lodge and spend two days with me, learn how to make millions of dollars with the book and the strategy <laughs> session and the nine weeks of the coaching, right? And the, and the, and the, all the stuff like, <laughs> like, dang, like what, like, what do you want me to do, man? Move, 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 move in with you. Like I move in with you. Right. But it's going to be more than 49 95 folks. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, actually my team and I just came up with a package where we're going to be selling strategy sessions with my team, probably with coach and the person of interest stuff too, but we're going to be charging $2,021 all year. So I'm giving that to you guys. So not, my team's not going to come, but I'll come help you with your message, help you help more people. To yeah. get that, you have to take action though. You need to email me with your receipt and then I'll schedule. And I'll also give you the classes. So if you are on the fence and you want media, Yes, Daniel says, let's go, people. I put this offer for two years. He should be on his third book by now. Yeah, and he's he's ready to go. Take massive action. You won't regret it. Uh, the universe waits for no slow human. So email me. Yep, Chris, just forward me uh, your payment. You should get a receipt through Stripe or confirmation. Yep. And I'll schedule the strategy session with you as well as send you the information. Perfect. Just forward it to Gabby at coachbird.com. And we'll probably be doing these. Uh, I'll probably start doing them week after next, but you have to sign up tonight. You have till midnight. So if you want to go drink a bottle of wine and then hit the link. Like. <laughs> <laughs> here's the deal here. Here's the deal at, at the end of the day, guys, I, I would just say this and then, and then we'll go eat dinner. Cause I've got, a, I've got a dinner with the guy who flew in from Virginia and came to flip the switch. Here's what I would tell people. The there's a prey drive moment in life. And the prey drive moment is li in life is when you have an instinct to take an action and you know you need to do something, but you're afraid to do it. And what are you really afraid of is you're afraid you can't reproduce the money. If, if you come and spend two days with me and, you and we can't figure out how to help you make more than $5,000 with that book, then there's a major problem. What we should be able to do is I'll show you how to generate 3000 leads with the book. I'll show you how to make a hundred thousand dollars in the first 90 days of the book. If you do it right, I'll show you how to build out coaching around it. I'll show you how to monetize the concept. I'll show you how I have built a multi-million dollar coaching business based on concepts, right? A book is a concept. 
and the concept can be used to generate money, leverage, but you can't, I was telling this dude last night, man, you can't sell the book till you have the freaking book. You can't build the coaching program until you have it. So, so if you're out there and you're thinking, man, how do I get my money back? How do I, you need to be thinking about the objective. The objective is to take an asset and leverage the asset to make money. Okay. All you're doing is investing in yourself. You ain't investing in us. You're investing in you. Okay. So, so just know you, you turn loose and hit that link and do it. Here's what's going to happen, folks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that we're going to show you how to make money with that publishing retreat. It's going to get even better. Like I'm going to coach you through those weeks. Gabby's going to coach you through those weeks. Andy's going to coach you through those weeks. What's going to happen is you're going to have a book at the end of this deal. Okay. You're going to know how to do it. So Brian White, let's go, man. Pony up and let's roll. Okay. We can talk about it or we can be about it. I'm telling you this, this will position you as an expert. How many, how many insurance dudes out there have their own book? Very few, very few people. This is a separator for you at the end of the day, this separates you from so many people. It's the best thing I did at 25, man. I wouldn't be the person of interest I am today if I didn't start writing my first book. I'm telling you, okay? That's 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 what I'm here to tell you, okay? And I can't help you to commit, but once you commit, man, I ain't gonna let you fail. Once you commit, I'm not gonna let you fail, okay? So what questions do you have? I'm not trying to hard, hard sell you either, by the way, folks. Hey, if you do it, don't do it. It ain't my book. I'm, I'm right. I'm writing my book. I'm writing my 17th book right now, folks. I already got the publishing deal. I'm, I'm bringing this puppy to the market. So, you know, I would just encourage you. It, you ain't doing it for me. You're doing it for you. You're doing it for your family. You're doing it for all those other people. You can share the live from Coach Bert's uh, Facebook profile. I, yeah, take your shots, drink your wine. Yes, we're not hard selling you. The only reason we're adding so much value is we're just really excited about this program. We know, I mean, Coach's audience has grown. We have over, what, 400,000 people in your audience now? Yes. So we, here every day. Yeah, I mean, we're going to get 100 people on this group. Um, you know, so we're not, we're not worried. We just really care about you guys, that you came, you showed up, you're supporting us. Many of you support us on every webinar. This is the first time that, you know, we're doing a webinar together, that the group is doing a coaching program. So we care about you. We want you to succeed. And that's why we're offering these things. Yep. Richard Tennyson, I just got, look, you're going through a lot, man. That's good. Uh, this is going to be raw material uh, for your future. We, okay. So we, we want to help you. The Facebook group and like all the information you need to sign up will be sent to you by the first week of February. Um, we are going to continue to promote this. Um, also, if you have friends that this group would be good for. Get them in there, get them in there tonight because you want them to come to that publishing retreat with you and enjoy everything. It's much better to activate Prey Drive with friends. You're welcome. Absolutely. We hope so, whether that program was right for you or not, at least you know you're not alone. You know, we Coach Horses a, produces a YouTube video almost every single day. Like you can still stay in this energy. You can still get excited. You can absolutely save up for the next one. I think by the next group we run, it'll probably be 7,995. So I would suggest that you take action now if you know you're going to. And, and Brian, Brian White, yes, the, the Facebook group will be a private group only for this group. So it won't be public. It'll only be for that group. Yep. John Hart, that's a good line, man. But there's a lot to say there. It's a, it's a strategy. That's the book. The book is the strategy. And here's the deal. When you're selling something complex, like you are, in my opinion, I think the book is something you give to people so they can go home and read it. Like the power of zero or, you know, some of these concepts that people have where they explain, it explains. It's like you meet with the person, John, and you say, here, here I want you to take this and read it. I know you're traveling. I want you to read it. I want you to watch it. I, I'm mean, excuse me. I want you to read it and then come back for our next session. I've seen people do that and use those books in your world, and 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 um, I think it's incredibly powerful, man. To me, we had a guy come to my boot camp uh, from Seattle, Travis Roar, him and his wife, set up right over here where I'm at in the lodge, and they bought some of my books. They went home immediately, went on my website and invested thirty five hundred dollars in their next book. Came to the next boot camp got here, turned around and invested 15,000 more dollars in their coaching. That's where did it start? Man. There's a lot to say there. It's a, it's a strategy. That's where did, it, where did that start? It started with them coming, taking the book and seeing my, uh, n n understanding my philosophy. So to me, I think the book's a great sales tool. 
take the meeting or send the meeting as a lead generator, then follow up with them. Okay. And uh, so that's what I would tell you on that is it's an incredible, an incredible, uh, uh, incredible sales tool, man. The reason I got the $250,000 contract in Houston is because they read my book and they said, man, we believe the same things this dude does. That prompted him to go online and watch my videos. Then it prompted him to call my office. Then it said, we want Coach Burke to speak at this event. Next thing you know, boom, quarter of a million dollars coming in, folks. That, my friends, how you buy one of them lodges right here, okay? I'm getting excited, Gabby. I may be able to go another couple more hours. If I didn't have this dinner with bonefish tonight, I would. Oh, the bonefish has the, the I got the cucumber, cucumber margaritas. margaritas. But get it spicy, because if you get it spicy, it's even better. Y'all, I'm already working on our follow-up email. I'm a good media director. So I'm about to send this out to everybody. So you don't want to miss out because I'm only going to give 10 of those strategy sessions away because I can't be on the phone all day. I got books to write. First Love day. you too, Dan Daniel Hodges. Thank you, man. From Lonely right. Woke. Y'all got some good ideas. I love it. Hey, the idea is only as valuable as the monetization of the idea, folks. That's what I'm telling you. You can have an idea that changes the world that nobody knows about. Okay? It, it, until you Until you buckle down and make it happen, it's just an idea in your head. Can't be monetized. I don't know what's in your head, right? It's in your brain. So I gotta take what's in your brain. I gotta get it on paper, Nicole Travis. I gotta, I gotta package the concept. I gotta sell the concept. I have the revelation. I have the conviction. I take what's in my brain. I package it up. I push it out to the marketplace. I put it into books, audio, all these things. Boom, I make money with it. And that's the monetization of a concept, folks. So Gabby, I'm getting hungry. Me too. We're going to leave. I don't know if I'm going to take a cucumber margarita. Okay. And that sounds great. Um, I want you to get the strategy session too, Chassie. So as soon as you guys sign up, um, forward me at Gabby at coachbird.com. I will get back with you guys by the end of the day tomorrow and get them scheduled as yeah. well as do all the courses. So say this too, Gabby, if you're on here tonight and there's something, you know, some reason, I don't, you know, you, you, for some reason you can't, you can't, or Jim Clark, I'll make a note of that. And same with Chelsea. She said her bank account thought it was stolen. Yeah. If someone you, else said they needed an hour. Yeah, you guys have told me. Yeah, if, if you can't, if you if for some reason something's going on, you, you can't do it. Uh, here's what I want you to do. Just email Gabby, right? Or or me, right? Gabby, who do you want to email? Me or you? Um, just email both of us. Just email coach at coach yeah. and Gabby at Gabby. Yeah, and we'll we'll send you a link and we'll 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 figure out a way to take care of it. But we want you in. We want to build this group. It's gonna be a small group and we want you in there, man. And here, here's the last thing I would say. I can't help you to commit to something. And once you commit, I'm not going to let you fail me. Do you know anything about me? Okay. And Gabby's got a lot of prey drive. It's one reason I brought her on my team because she, she pursued me for one year straight. And I wouldn't even talk to her. I wouldn't even listen to her. I wouldn't even call her back. I wouldn't even text message her. And I'm like, dang, after a year, I'm like, dang, this girl's good. I'm going to give her a shot, man. She came on as my media director. Okay. And and after about a year, we put her in charge of the publishing division. Said, hey, this is where it needs to be. This is this is what you need to be doing. We need to be helping people write their books. It's a problem for people. And we can help them. So, so let's start it. So that's what we're doing, folks. First start off is us writing a book for you. Now it's it's us coaching you, okay? It's us coaching you, okay? So Daniel Hodges is in there telling you, man, he's been with me five years. The dude's tripled his income. His business is worth three times what it was. He's writing books. He's speaking. He's becoming a person of interest. Okay. He's telling you, he's telling you what to do. Okay. So if you're out there and you're watching this on Facebook or whatever, and you want us to help you, but you're confused about something, coach at coachbird.com, Gabby at coachbird.com. We will get this thing across the finish line and help you. But if you're taking action, okay, I turn into a pumpkin at midnight. Gabby turns into a pumpkin at eight o'clock, folks. Uh, I do. You're not going to hear back from me tonight, but I will email tonight. you back. Uh, I'm like a light bulb. I'm very bright and I go completely out. <laughs> She's the oldest <laughs> young person I know. Trust me. She's up at four o'clock in the morning and she goes to bed at seven o'clock. I know. Coach uh, always like, you remind me of my grandparents. They used to go to bed at six, wake up at midnight and stare at each other. That's basically our relationship. <laughs> well, okay. You guys, the only one you didn't get to meet is Andy and he's obviously just as talented as us. And um, he's someone that is a resource to us. Andy at andygarrison.com if you were confused about anything he offered. Other than that, you know, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for giving us the platform. Speakers can't do anything without audiences. So we're grateful for all of you. Yep. Take action, guys. You got the link or email us if you want something, right? Let's go. Let's do this. We're going to get a good group. So God bless you. Thanks for having us tonight. And uh, I guess thanks for having ourselves because we hosted it, right? Uh, so <laughs> we're glad we had this tonight.
<laughs> the program is called Authority, Author I-T-Y, Become an Authority for uh, nine weeks. Me, Gabby, Andy, plus I added the boot camp for two days, the publishing boot camp, plus all the extras. So, folks, it's, it's probably 30, 40, $50,000 of value for under 5,000 bucks. So, we really can not sell hungry again. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, let's go. All right, Gabby, right. thank you very much. Thank See you, you guys. Bye, everyone. Take, take action tonight on this. Don't play around with it.